Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel again. So yesterday I went to Alton Towers, it was Scarefest. Um, it was the first day of the Scarefest event being on fully. The past week it's been closed um, every day and they opened yesterday um, for the proper Scarefest. What they normally do just before is it's normal park days and then they have weekends as Scarefest for a few weeks and then the main event is like, I think it's a week or two, and every day is, is Scarefest. Um, there was time for it to, you know, for them to tweak. It wasn't the first day. Um, I didn't really go in any of the scare mazes. Um, I was planning on doing, uh, but then we, we decided to prioritize the rides and things, um, and obviously get night rides. I only managed to get one night ride um, compared to last year when I got a few. So this year I did 13 in the dark, which was great because it's the first time I've actually seen the dark forest, which is the area that it's in, actually in dark. Uh, I was a bit disappointed in the fact that there wasn't much theming other than Tower Street, the main part, which had done really well. They normally have big Scarefest letters. I will drop a few pictures that I took in. And throughout the park, they've got coloured lights. They've got the odd projections and things, but nothing too much. And there was a lack of scare zones. Or, uh, you know, like um, with actors that you walk through that aren't actually mazes and things. And um, so it didn't feel that Halloween y. Now, when it got to night, I think the sun started to go down probably about 7 pm, maybe just before. Um, and it was open till nine. So there was a few hours of, of dark, um, which it looked fantastic. I can't fault them for that. Like I say, the theme in, they normally have a, a, a big Scarefest letters and lots of pumpkins around. And this year they had some themed pumpkins, uh, which I will put a picture in. They looked awesome, themed around the rides. But mainly, I suppose, if you want to get the full Halloween experience, uh, you, you really want to go in the scare mazes. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to. I may be going back to Scarefest. Like I said, there's a few weeks of it, I think. So if I can, I will get back. Hopefully, maybe get a scare maze or two in there, um, although, Never been in a proper scare maze, so I'm still a bit like, uh, I'm not good with jump scares. Um, but I feel like I do need to do some to get the full experience. So anyway, yeah, my review, pretty short. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, as far as the park in general goes, uh, the rides, it was a Friday. Uh, so not weekend, but normally gets a little bit busier. I think the longest we waited was probably about an hour for rides. Um, a lot, as usual, they were advertised actually longer than they actually were. And then w when we did get on 13 at the end, it was advertised zero minutes. And we must have queued for about 40, 45 minutes. But I think what had happened is it had closed. And as we went, obviously loads of people saw it said zero minutes. So they all went and then it's like, hold on a second, we're now in this queue. So I think what had happened is it had closed and it had just reopened, hence why it said zero minutes and, you know, obviously it had not updated yet with everyone rushing in, like seeing it was zero minutes and back open again. But we did get to do that. That was fun. I always loved that ride. Uh, and once again, I did manage to get some merch. I have been collecting, I don't know if I showed in any of the other videos, I've been collecting the pin badges they've started doing. Now I can't find my lanyard. I have a Nemesis 25 lanyard because this year is it's like 25th birthday so there's lots of limited edition nemesis 25 merch i have a nemesis 25 lanyard as well as the nemi uh, nemesis 25 pin badge but like i say i need to tie the flat and on trying to look for it i can't actually find it um, but i do have i think i've got about eight pin badges on there already and they were doing a um getting rid of some of this year's merch and stuff, they were doing an offer. So pin badges, some range from 350, £4.450. Um, these were all, I'm gonna show you that I got, were all meant to be £4, but they were down to two. I did find out, I didn't see it. I obviously wasn't looking hard enough, but I did see um, on a video online that there was actually a Alton Towers Scarefest uh, 2019 badge, which I wish I'd have got. Uh, I was debating whether to get the Scarefest 2019 hoodie or t-shirt didn't take that much money with me so i opted just to get pin badges to enhance my collection oh and i did get the alton towers top trumps uh which i've been wanting all all year that was reduced to a fiver so i'm like oh, i might as well get it uh, it's been something i've been saying oh, i might pick this up um, because at the moment the the main cards on the back of wicker man theme seems it's you know the, the newest ride currently um 
So yeah, so here are the pin badges. Now what I might do is take the plastic off them just so that you can probably see them better without glare. Obviously they're still on the card. I guess like I said, I can't find my pin badge. So I don't know how well it's focused because I'm on auto, I'm not on auto, sorry, because this camera, the focus isn't great. So let's see if I can focus on that. There we go. So that, sorry about the lighting. Uh, that is the, um, the Rita badge. There is multiple designs for each ride. Uh, me and my girlfriend, if we get the same ride, we are trying to get different badges. So if we do, I want to kind of make a cork board. So every year I can start with a fresh lanyard, maybe have a hang the lanyards up or make a cork board with them all in. So what we're trying to do is if, if we get the same rides, we're trying to get the different designs just so as a whole, we've got a collection of, of the different types. Now this one, um, like I said, I've got the Nemesis 25 logo one. Yesterday I did pick up the bargain, the uh, two pound, they just, the, new, the, the current Nemesis logo which is great, still probably my favorite ride. Wicker Man is absolutely amazing, um, but I still think Nemesis is probably my favorite ride. It's still as smooth as ever. And here we go. The last one I bought, and we bought three to add to my collection. Um, because I was, I, was, I was spending more money on them previously, uh, on my favorite rides and the bigger rides and things like that. But I thought as soon as it's two pound, I have to get a Runaway Mine Train one. There we go. Um, which is one of the many rides that doesn't have much, or sorry, one of the few rides that doesn't have much merch. And the merch doesn't even say Runaway Mine Train on. Um, those of you who've been to Alton Towers know that the tagline, in fact, what the ride ops say is Choo Choo as you leave. So all the things just say Choo Choo on them. Um, even the t-shirts you can buy just say Choo Choo. And then there's a picture of the train. I believe years ago, I think one of the ride ops, um, I don't think it was an original thing, one of the ride ops decided to say, oh, she decided to say choo-choo, and it became a thing, and now the ride ops are trained. That is part of the experience. Like, it is a, it is a I believe it's a Mac, a Mac, uh, like, powered family little coaster. But it's quite fun, and it's quite fast, because obviously with it being powered, it, it, there's certain bits, like the speed's controlled all the way around with it being powered, so... There is a bit when you go under the tunnel that it shares the tunnel with the rapids and it's quite fast. It's a fun ride. It, it's one that if there isn't a queue, I'll, I'll get on it uh, because why not? Like it's fun. So yeah, that's good. Um, and obviously the ride ops make the experience on that ride, uh, the enthusiasm and just, you know, they know that not just families and children are going to go on it. It's just a classic, classic little ride. I love it. That's all I got yesterday uh, as well as the top trumps. Uh, my girlfriend did get the Wickerman teddy bear. So like I, I planned on getting the top trumps all season and thought I'd wait. The other half really wanted the Wickerman teddy and she was waiting all season. Um, I don't think it was reduced. I think it was still the same rise. It was 15 pound, which I think is quite a bit for a bear. But then again, it's theme park merch. So I suppose that's not too bad. So here is the Wickerman bear with, let me just focus it. There we go. With its evil looking eyes and it's, runes on its feet if i can get it actually in camera there we go yes oops ah ah focus it's a quite cool little teddy it, it feels really nice like the quality is really good um and as you can see that's the size it's not not tiny so i suppose 15 pound that's not bad she wanted it all season and uh, decided to pick that one up too obviously yesterday i did go in my wickerman t-shirt Yes, I have just put this on again for this video because why not? I love this t-shirt. And I was also wearing my Smiler hoodie, which I actually bought, uh, actually bought a year before Smiler opened. And uh, so I've had that for ages. Not, not really a favorite ride. I'd bought it thinking I was gonna ride it maybe the season after. Uh, and then the, the crash happened and things. So it got shut down. And then eventually, like, I think last year was, the first time I'd actually got to ride it. And I do enjoy it. It's just a bit, a bit rough. That is all I have for this video. I've plopped in a few photos that I took. I didn't take many. Uh, what I tend to do at Alton Towers, as soon as I get there, I put my phone, my wallet, everything in my little bag and pretty much leave them in there all day because I get fed up of taking them out and putting them back in, you know, for every ride. And it did start raining at one point and I just couldn't be bothered to keep walking around, taking my phone out, putting it, you know. I took it out a few times to check 
um, queue times because the app is really good, um, really good for, for getting queue times. You don't have to find the boards. So, uh, so yes. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little Scarefest update. Hopefully if I do go again, I'll make more videos. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.